Hey, everybody. I am pulling up comments on my computer because my iPad is dead. So let me see. Okay, that's probably not going to work because I can't see comments. Hey, Julie. Let me go back out here and... I think I need to view myself as a visitor and then find the, yes. Hey, Kathy. Okay. There I go. Now, hopefully, and this is interesting. When I was viewing my page as a visitor and I clicked on the live, I had a box that popped up that said, always know when Katina Martinez is live. And it allowed me to click my notifications on. And so I know some of you guys struggle with getting notifications. Hi, Linda. Um, so that might be a new thing, a new feature. Um, I have some coffee here. It's early this morning. And the kids just got off to school. So I was going to do this live yesterday and I'm sort of glad I didn't because I have some special goodies I'm going to share with you guys. Um, but you guys, yesterday was, I mean, it's just comical now. My life is just comical, you guys. So yesterday um, we got up and it was like 54 degrees in the house. So my husband was like, it's fine. I'll start a fire. Went to start a fire and in our fireplace and the smoke backed up so bad in the house. We had to open the whole house up. We had to open the doors, the windows. We had to put fans on. And he had just went up last week and got, you know, he thought he got everything ready. So then he got mad because he was like, what's wrong with the fireplace? And then we were all freezing. And then I came down into my office. I had to immediately call Apple about my computer so that I'm stuck on the phone with Apple and then he ends up spending all day yesterday trying to figure out the fireplace. Turns out there's a piece he didn't know that he had to take apart and empty out. And he had never done that. And thank God we didn't have a house fire the last nine years. Then one entire wall of my office, the all of the electricity goes off in it. It happens to be my wall that has my computer and my heater on it. And we have no idea why this has happened. And so by the time last night came, it was just comical what was happening in our lives. So then this morning we come down, we thought we fixed the electricity. Turns out we hadn't. Then turns out I couldn't get Wi-Fi in my office. I mean, is this just like, you know, at some point you just have to laugh and be like, okay, like this is what's happening. So this morning um, when Esau went to drop off the kids, at school. Um, he checked the mail and I have some goodies and I want to unbox them with you guys. And then we're going to make something. So let's dive in. Um, I know what this is because yesterday Wendy called me and was like, I don't understand what this is. Can you, do you understand this? And together over FaceTime, we figured out what it was. So I already know what this is, which isn't a big deal, but I don't know what's in the big box. So, um, Stampin' Ups, normal, our normal on stage event is in November. And because of everything that's going on in the world, that has obviously been canceled and we're doing on stage at home. And so um, Center Stage is a um, event for leaders and they're always really fun. And so there's a gift here from um, Center Stage. And then these are the goodies that we would normally get at that event. So let's start with this. The box is beautiful and I love it. I love that it kind of goes with my office here. So I will display that. And then it says, we missed being together at center, center stage this year, but still want to share a fun gift with you. We appreciate your leadership and sharing your love for stamping up with others and joy. Oh, mine is different. Oh, I got to text Wendy a photo. 
Oh my gosh, mine is different. Okay, so I'm going to pull this out of here. Okay, so this is what it is. It has the Stampin' Up! charm on it. And then it has this little charm on it. I like mine. Hers was pretty too. I think that they're different based on title, which is what I told her yesterday. Okay, so she was like, what is this? Like, okay, so here's the snips. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, so here's snips. And she was like, what is it? It's too small to be a bracelet. It doesn't hook together. But then this part here, she couldn't get to go over. Oh, mine went over my scissors really easily. Uh-oh. So am I still live, you guys? Can you comment? On my computer, it, it's like I'm not live, but on my phone, it's like I'm live. Okay, it seems like I'm okay. Seems like everything's okay. It just seems like it's going to be a nightmare to get comments. Um, yeah, so I think because that's what I said to her, Renee. I was like, I wonder if based on titles, because hers was blue and blue and silver. And I was like, oh, maybe because she's platinum. So I was like, maybe because you're platinum, that's your title. Maybe everybody's ti like title is different. And she was like, no way, like they wouldn't do that. So here's the thing. You stick it in here like this and it protects your snips. And then it's like a little purse. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's a little massive to when you're cutting. Um, quite honestly, I think I will take this part off. Um, I don't really, because I have these, I don't really feel the need to... Um, to like have this part and this part is pretty heavy so I will probably take this part off and just use the charm um but that's fun I'm gonna have to text her and show her that mine was different um this actually this little charm here Wendy actually got me speaking of um when she was in Hawaii on an incentive trip it's one of those like phone charms and it's really, I mean, I've had it for years and I just can't stand not having it on here. But I've always tried to look for um, those cell phone charm things because they work perfect as like a, um, as a scissor charm. Um, but this will be fun. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this, this bottom part off. Um, I love my, I love having charms on my scissors. This is one that I made years ago. Um, yeah, so that was the fun center stage gift, um, which I'm glad yesterday that we figured out what it was. Um, okay. So then this is the on stage at home and this is what everybody got if they got the swag box. Um, and so I'm going to open it up. Okay. So there is a message in here from Sarah. I'm so excited for on stage at home. I can't wait to virtually meet up with you and thousands of other demonstrators as we inspire each other, learn, and let's not forget, see lots of sneak peeks from the January-June mini catalog and celebration brochure. Your swag box is packed with lots of fun stuff to enhance your on stage at home experience. You can customize your notebook with bright stickers and fill it with your notes and goals using the rainbow ink pen. How cool is that? Keep your exclusive grid paper uh, ready to use for stamping and sharing projects you'll create during the event. And watch for a presentation where you, where you will see lots of project ideas and tips for selling the Enjoy the Moment stamp set included in your swag box. And let's not forget the trading pens. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They were designed... When we were planning our in-person on-stage event, but I'm so happy you can still enjoy them and even trade with your demonstrator friends through the mail or at your next event if you would like. Last but not least, doesn't the bag make you smile? I'm looking forward to packing mine with supplies for projects I'm working on. And who am I kidding? I'll probably use it the next time I have a chance to enjoy some sun and warm weather. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So it is quite big. I wish it was smaller so that I could use it as a normal purse. 
but it is quite big. It says Stampin' Up. It has a pocket right here. And then it looks like it has a pocket on the bottom. So let's pull everything out. Okay, so then there's a, a pocket inside. It's a little hard to show on camera. And then it looks like there's a pocket on the bottom as well. So that's kind of cool. It is really pretty. So let me set that aside. And then, oh my gosh, this grid paper is so fun. Oh my gosh, look, you guys, at the bottom of the box. Can you guys see the lips? I can't tell. Can you see the lips? Yeah, stamping up. How cute is this? Okay, let me see comments because I can't see them. Uh, on Maybe let me pull this down. Nope. Click. Okay, now I can see comments. Okay, so this is the grid paper. This is pretty grid paper. So there's several sheets. I love my grid paper. I love it. I should try to remember to use it more when we are live because you guys know I'm always searching for a piece of scratch paper. Okay, so this is Stampin' Up. I'm assuming this is the pen. Oh, this is cute. It looks like it's a gel pen. So that'll be interesting to see how that writes. Yeah, it's a gel pen. It's like I want to like keep using it and using it till I get to the next color to see how cool the transition will be. So that is fun. And then there is this stamp set. Enjoy the moment. It is a red rubber one. Friendship is found in simple things. Enjoy the moment. A little note. I'm not crazy about the images. Um, I'm going to have to see like what, what people do with it before I feel like, before I feel like it is something that I will use. And then here's the trading pins. Oh my gosh. I love enamel pins. It's kind of become a thing recently, right? It's like a trendy thing. But those are cute. I love that. Okay, and then here's the notebook, or the notebooks, I should say. So let's open these up. Oh yeah, that is a good point. Okay, so here's the stickers, which is fun. And then there's this. Oh, it's grid. I love me a good grid notebook. Then there's this size, which is just plain paper. And then there's this side, which is dot grid. So that's fun with the stickers. Okay, so that is super fun. Those were fun gifts. That's exciting. Let's move all of this so that we can craft now. So that was fun to get. I'm excited. I'm glad I got the swag box. So that will be fun. Now I'm excited to see everybody else's pins and um, what, every, what everybody else's charm looks like. So that will be fun to start to see. Okay, so today what we're going to do is dive into um, this last month's paper pumpkin. So this is the um, Joy to the World October 2020 paper pumpkin. And the box is pretty. That's nice. So let's pull everything out of here. And let's make a little something. You guys keep your paper pumpkin boxes I do not I used to but 
I just don't know. Okay, so I love this. Um, to the world, to you and yours, sending joy. Oh, I love this Merry Christmas. I love this. And then wishing you a very happy Christmas filled with fun and laughter. And then it has a couple images. Okay, so this already is, um, I'm already feeling excited about this and not so intimidated. Hey, Kathy. Like last month when I was feeling very intimidated by... Okay, so it looks like cards, which is awesome. We can get started on cards for the season. Okay, so we have some dimensionals. We have some embossed Whisper White cardstock. We have some envelopes that are lined. I love the lining of these. Can you guys see? This is really pretty. Um, they're all lined the same. Yeah. So we have those. And then we have some card bases. Uh, is there something in here? Okay, so card bases. Awesome. Then we have some punch outs. Some letters, some words, I mean. And then some more punch outs. Uh, little glue dots. Going directly in the trash. I hate those things. And then... Here is the cards and the instructions. So I'm just going to go by the photo um, and we're going to make a card. So let's set all of this stuff aside. Um, Renee said, I keep my boxes and my kids use them to organize various art supplies and school supplies. Just recently, I made a friend... I made a friend a card making supplies in it for her kids. Oh, cute. A little sip of coffee here. My voice is getting better and better. Okay, so here's the advertisement here for it. Oh, this is nice that they did this. So the English word and then the French and then the German and that is because all of those are on here, I believe. Yes. So all of those words are on here. So it's nice that they give you like the translation. So if you wanted to use them, you totally could. Okay, so let's dive in because I already know which one I want to make. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so let's grab... Our card base and we're gonna start this has some gold foil on it pretty right and then what other pieces am I gonna need okay so it says I'm going to need one of these and then this is really beautiful this one here now this is a little bit larger than the image in the stamp but it's so pretty and I like that it is already colored so it gives you a little bit of an idea of how you would want to color it and then we need one of these and then one of these and then this twine which looks like cherry cobbler to me it's very pretty okay so and then the stamp and spot is just jade and the way i like to open my stamp and spot now you can re-ink these with our re-inkers so it's a great way, getting my paper pumpkin is a great way to build up um, your ink pads. If you don't want to purchase all of the ink pads, you can grab the, you know, get these every month and then you'll have these and you can get the re-inkers to re-ink them. So what I like to do is just, it is perforated right there. And 
And then I leave this part on here so that the lid stays with it. And these are great to use um, if you have a stampin' stamparatus, a stamp positioning tool, um, cause you can really get in there. And then the great thing about these is that they actually, um, click shut. There's, um, these little guys on here. And so they actually, the lid stays on there really well, which is nice that I don't think that was always like that. Okay. So let's do our stamping and then we'll put together the card. I need a block this week. Um, I currently am sitting down. The reason my, um, computer is my air is in here. You guys can kind of see the corner of it up here. Um, is because we're having that electrical problem on that one wall and I don't want to turn my big computer on. And what I'm doing, um, this morning is I am, getting all of my blog posts written and the eight weeks of Christmas or eight weeks of Halloween all wrapped up. So all of those crafty projects are currently like right over there, all stacked up and ready to go to the school. And I will have the rest of the PDFs for you guys and the blog posts up this week. I already filmed everything and I'm just going to sit and edit and do that. And then on Saturday, I will have my first organizational video up for you guys because um, I'm going to do different spots in my office here. And then when I'm all done sharing all the different spots, I'll do a whole overview office tour for you guys. So that will be up on Saturday. My very first one will be up. And so um, lots of fun things up this week. And then next week, we'll start eight weeks of Christmas. Okay, so I love this. I feel like this stamp alone is totally worth the kit because this is so cute. And it didn't stamp perfectly. You can see it's a little... Um, blotchy and that is because it's a brand new stamp so I've shown this before but I'll go over it again when you have photopolymer stamps like this and they're brand new there's a couple ways that you can prep them to get a, a very crisp um, image and there's two things that I use one is just the sanding block that I've had um, it was a Stampin' Up! block, and I've just had it for a long time, and it's really worn down. It's a really fine, um, a fine sanding surface. And then the other thing that I use is this, the Mono Sand Eraser. It's by Tombow. I just get this on Amazon. And all you do is you can kind of see the stamp, and then all you do... is sand the surface and you will see that it sort of starts to turn a white color and that's all you want to do you don't want to be really aggressive with it um and it won't damage it if you're not too terribly aggressive and once it turns a white color um that's perfect or with the sand eraser you just do the same thing you just run it over it's over the surface <clears throat> and then let me stamp this again and you'll see the difference and sometimes you have to do it a couple times but it's better to do it a couple times than do it just once and do too much you know sand it too much but you can see already that that is a much crisper image. And you can see just the T um, needs a little bit more sanding. So you just come back in. And probably if I would have cleaned that stamp first, it, I probably would have got a better sanding. 
And you can use a red, um, a red eraser, you know, the kind kids use in school and, and you can see what a much crisper image that is. Let me show you guys up close. So it becomes much crisper. So that is an easy way to prep your stamps. Okay, so let's put this together. Let me get all my pieces back. I lost my little floral piece. I know I punched it out. There it is. Okay, and then, of course, the next thing I'm going to do to this... is add a little wink of Stella. Ooh, now that wink of Stella is flowing. I'm just going to do it on the red part. Like so. Okay, so now let's put this together. I'm just going to follow the photo. So the first thing I'm going to do is take that twine. Now, where did the twine go? I just had it. There it is. This, I it totally looks like cherry cobbler, but darker. It's gorgeous. I wish we had this under normal circumstances, like just to purchase Sometimes what you see in Paper Pumpkin, um, sometimes we get those products later. Like sometimes images you see, like like punch outs, like if you see a, a, um, a certain style, um, sometimes we end up getting those dyes later or ribbon sometimes. So if you get Paper Pumpkin kind of keep an eye on the product and if there's something that you like I just got some text for Kayla's school I don't know what it was okay so I just put a couple swipes of adhesive down and I'm just probably more than I needed I'm just pushing that in like that let's see yeah so then let's put some dimensionals on the back of this all my stuff like I'm having a hard time keeping track of where everything is okay here's my dimensionals and because I put this twine down I am going to put a lot of dimensionals down. Oh, I got to pick a winner, you guys, for the, for the, um, all the prizes. I'll do that today. I need to, oh, I need to make a note or something. So I'll remember to do that. I just need to pick a winner so I can get that shipped off. Okay, so here's. this and then I'm going to press it down into that twine and that will help that twine stay stay there there we go okay now this is going to go here and then these two things are going to get layered. So we'll layer that right in the middle. And then we can layer this. I feel like that totally covers up. Oh, you know what they did? 
Okay. It's okay. We're just going to pull this up a little bit. They used two. Okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. So a little wink of Stella. There. A couple dimensionals. I was like, it covers up the entire flower. Like, how is that possible? Okay. All right. And then I'm going to spread that out a little bit, I guess. Yeah. And then that looks better. Okay. So then now let's just put this adhesive here. Like so. I don't know. Not I don't know that I would choose to layer things up like this, but I'm just following the in instructions. And even though this is embossed, it's kind of hard to even even tell. Okay. So the other thing, you guys, you know, when I don't like something, I don't like it. And I'm not loving the way that's turning out. So let me grab... I think I have a scrap over here that I can make this work. Is this... You know what? This might be Mary Merlot. This twine, I bet it's Mary Merlot and not Cherry Cobbler because this is Mary Merlot. That makes more sense. Okay. Oh, we're going to need... Oh, I think I need my big trimmer. And I think I would have rather have had it stamped, this sentiment. I think it would have looked better stamped in Mary Merlot. Oh, this is a weird size card. What size card is this? Okay, what's the deal? Yeah, it's bigger than five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm trimming that. Oh, yeah. It's four. Yeah, so, or I guess four and an eighth. Okay. So. Huh. That's interesting that they did that. Okay, that's better. Okay. Okay, now let's add this. Okay, I think that looks much better. Okay, press that down. Now y'all know I'm gonna add some bling. Um... Uh, I'm looking, guys. I'm looking. Hold on. Why can't I grab the right color? Oh, is it this one? Mm, nope. Is it this one? Nope. Where is my yellow gold? That's what I'm looking for. Yellow gold. 
That's copper. Whale? I'm missing one of my Nuvo drops. This is honey gold. I was looking for my yellow gold. But I don't know where it's at. So let's use this honey gold glitter. I wonder if one of my kids got it. Okay. Yeah, I guess this will be okay. Yeah, I like it way better with... I think that's all I'm going to do. Can you believe it? I think it looks way better with a layer of Mary Merlot. And this these will probably dry and they'll be clear but sparkly. You know what else would be... The other color that would go really great with this would be Early Espresso. I do have a brown Nuvo Drops. That would be pretty. Okay, so that's the card. I really love this. I really love this month's kit. So if you want to get my Paper Pumpkin, you can sign up to get it. You need to sign up by, uh, by November 10th to get next month's kit. And these are so pretty. So that's all I have for you guys today. I will take a picture of this and share it with you guys. And then all the links for my paper pumpkin I'll also put up. And then watch for the blog posts and for us to wrap up eight weeks of Halloween today, uh, this week. And then we'll dive into Christmas next week. And that will be fun. I will be live tomorrow and we will be doing our blessed to craft make and take projects. I'll be doing that tomorrow live with you guys. Okay. So I hope that you guys are having a good day. I'll pick a winner and post that today as well. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and you find a little time to get crafty. Thanks so much, guys. I'll talk to you later.